in today's video i'm excited to share ways to upgrade some dollar tree items and also show you how easy it is to create some super cute nautical diys i've got 12 of them to share so let's get started if we haven't met yet my name is lisa and this is our gray house I was so honored when I was asked to be the spotlight crafter for this challenge. So thank you, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. I just adore these gals. They're so talented and fun to watch. Their channels are linked below and I hope you check them out. The hosts for the playlist are Emily from Farm Charm Chic, Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. My hubby and I cut out some of the projects for today's video. And if y'all want the templates, just let me know and I can get those uploaded. But I just Googled the shapes and then printed them out to create my own templates. And honestly, don't be intimidated to use power tools. Using a jigsaw is really pretty easy. And if you don't have a jigsaw, you can just cut out these shapes using cardboard and you're going to get the same effect. I filmed this video just a little bit differently. Normally I do projects kind of separately so you can see each one individually, but this video I filmed everything almost all at the same time because my mom was in a serious car accident a few days ago. She's still in the hospital, but she is doing fine and she's recuperating. But because of that, I wasn't able to really film like I normally would. So I'm working on all these projects all at the same time. And this right here is one of the wood shapes we cut out. It's a lighthouse shape, and I'm giving it a really good coat of the color of the paint in color alabaster. No, plaster. <laughs> and this is a wood shape sign that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm staining it with Waverly Wax in the color antique, front and back. I'm just painting it, and then I take a damp rag and I wipe off the excess. Now I found this wood chime little kit at Dollar Tree and I took out that wood wheel ship, no ship wheel, <laughs> wood shape. And I'm staining it with Waverly Wax in the color antique front and back as well. Painting it on and then wiping off the excess with a damp rag. I'm not sure if this is a brand new line or if it's just a seasonal item, but it's called Shore Living. And I found a strand of beads with the ship wheel shape on it. And I'm just staining the ship wheel shape with the Waverly Wax and the color Antique. Again, kind of painting it on and wiping off the excess with the damp rag. And actually, I found it just easier to use the rag to kind of apply the wax and remove it. Now, I cut out some wood shapes. This is a starfish and we have the sailboat. I'm painting those with the color plaster as well, front and back, and just giving it a really good coat. Now I am taking this little crate that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it with this blue color. And I'm just gonna say, I'll stop right here because <laughs> I end up not liking the blue color and I switch gears and paint it another color. So take this really pretty blue color and I go over the previous blue color. Now what I didn't like about the other blue color is it just looked too, kind of like too Americana, like too much like patriotic 4th of July type thing, which I have another video coming up soon with those kind of DIYs. But for this one, I wanted it to look more nautical. I also paint this little wood tray that I found from Dollar Tree and I'm giving it a good coat of that same blue color. And here I wanted to show you, not all of my stuff turns out. I started to cut out this decal using my Cricut and I had it on the wrong settings. So it messed up and I had to start all over. But now's a good time for a break. If you haven't, or you didn't know, I have a group on Facebook with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY, and it's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. The link is going to be in the description box below. I hope you join, and if you do, please share something that you're working on right now. We'd love to see it and get inspiration from you. Now back to the DIYs. So I'm taking this wood wheel shape, 
again, it's from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be taking some jute twine and kind of wrapping it around sections all around the wood woo. Now, I'm not wrapping each little section, but I'm kind of going like two sections over anyway. I'm just showing you that you can take a simple shape from Dollar Tree. It was $1.25. I already had the jute twine at home, but this kind of jazzes it up a little bit and adds a little extra oomph to it, you know, without having to spend a whole lot of money. And so basically I take this twine, wrap it all the way around. I think I wrap it around 10 times around each little section. Yep, see me counting? <laughs> and I'm gonna hot glue it in place so it stays. And I'll do a full reveal at the end of the video, but I'm doing the same type of thing to the smaller wood wheel shape. Just winding that jute one around. And I think on the smaller one, I did like five or six times. Okay, so back to the wood crate. I printed out C's the day using my Cricut and I'm just applying that decal to the wood crate. And I'm doing the same to that other tray that I had painted. And I'm just trying to see where the jute twine, cause you know I'm gonna add jute twine. So I'm just trying to see where the jute twine will fit. And I printed out, it's supposed to say love, that little anchor, it's not really an O shape, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do. And then I'm hot gluing some jute twine inside, wrapping it around several times. Now the funny thing is I, the jute twine that I had left over from something else I was doing wasn't long enough. So I just hot glued that down and then I took some more jute twine and wrapped it around. You didn't, you don't know that I didn't use one single piece. So, and it doesn't matter. So I just wrap that around, hot glue it down and you're good to go. Now I'm taking some beads and I think these are 16 millimeter, maybe 14, but I have them on a piece of masking tape that I've taped down sticky side up and I've used two little pieces of tape on the ends. Anyway, that's to kind of hold those beads in place. Now you could use that or a skewer. Often I do use a skewer and later on in this project, you'll see me using a skewer. And I painted them white and now I'm painting this little anchor piece that came out of that little, that little wood set looks like it came from Hobby Lobby, but it came from Dollar Tree. And now I'm taking this gnome sign. Then I decided, you know what? I cut out the gnome sign, but I'm just going to use the back of the be kind sign that I used in another video. Um, it turned out super cute, but I didn't finish the back and I thought, Hmm, I'm going to make this a double sided sign. So I'm just using that paint in the color plaster and giving it a good coat. And now I'm going to be making a little sign. Oh, I got a splinter. Y'all, I got a splinter in real life. <laughs> and then I had to take the tweezers and try to get that out. So be careful. Sand down your stuff so you don't get splinters. So now I'm going to be making a sign for the front of this gnome. So that, you know, kind of makes sense on both sides and you don't see something sticking out the back of the gnome. And I cut it down to the same size as the other sign and I'm painting it with the color plaster as well. I keep wanting to say alabaster. It's not alabaster, it's plaster. And I'm painting the inside of that sign too. So just in case you see it. Okay, now switching to that love sign. I thought that the white beads just looked too plain. So I took those off and I'm coloring them, coloring them. I'm painting them to look like, I guess, buoys maybe. I'm not really a nautical sea ocean type person. <laughs> so anyway, I'm painting them to look like fishing buoys. I think is what they were called. And as I mentioned before, this time I'm using a skewer and just kind of going around with a paint pen. I'm coloring 
two colors on there and leaving a band of white in between. Now back to the seize the day side, <laughs> little great book stack thing. I took some jute twine and hot glued it on the inside and I'm gonna wrap it around several times. Yes, I do like using jute twine on my projects. And then just hot glue that down to secure it inside the book stack. And now I'm gonna be adding a little, there was an anchor that I painted earlier that came in that little set from Dollar Tree. And I thought it would just look cute kind of hanging off of this little book stack. And I'm adding those little beads that I turned into buoys back onto the left sign. Now I'm taking some fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's got a ship on it and like a map type thing. And I'm just cutting out the shape of the gnome's head and trying to cut around. I used um, a marker, Sharpie marker. Probably should have used pencil so it wouldn't show up as much. But anyway, I cut around it, you don't see it. And I'm just making sure it fits and kind of cutting it to be a similar size as the Be Kind sign. And I'm taking some Mod Podge adding a thin layer of that to the gnome head and then I'm going to take that fabric and kind of press it down and make sure that there are not any wrinkles or anything. Now I'm taking some plaster paint even though it's already painted with that. Oh Captain's going to help. But I'm trying to repaint that little area because I'm going to be making the gnome's beard and I'm taking some gray paint and kind of adding some detail to kind of show up the beard a little bit better. And the gnome needs a little jacket, so I'm just taking some darker gray paint. I think this is in the color Elephant, and I'm painting on his jacket. To make the buttons, I just used the end of a paintbrush that didn't have a, it had like a hollow, and I just dipped it in the white paint and then painted it on. I'm painting the nose with blush color. I'm painting two ends of a large popsicle stick. I forget what color I'm using, but anyway, that's gonna be his shoes. And I printed out a decal and I, with my Cricut, and it says Lil Salty, and that's the, what's gonna be on his little sign that he's holding. I'm gonna hot glue the Lil Salty sign down, and I'm trying to make sure it's even with the sign that's on the Be Kind side of the gnome <laughs> so it kind of matches up and you don't really see the other sign too much i'm hot gluing on the nose that i painted with that pale pink color and now i'm hot gluing on his little shoes and then i'm taking some distressing ink and kind of just going around the gnome i thought it looked a little too clean and a little too not distressed enough <laughs> And then uh, now we're gonna work on the sailboat. So I'm just marking a line where I need to paint. I realized I didn't paint the back of that starfish. So now I'm painting the back of that starfish. And I don't know why I painted it with the plaster because I was going back in with a beige color and I didn't think that it looked starfishy color enough. So I thought, hey, what if I add some yellow? But instead of a I don't know. It, that yellow was too bright. I'm like, no, no, no. We gotta, we gotta fix this. Try to dilute it, and I added some more of that beige back in. And then I grabbed an orange color and some more of this beige color that I was already using, and kind of mixed those together. I was trying to get kind of like that starfish look. And now back to the sailboat. I'm taking that beautiful blue color that I've been using for this video and I'm painting that little bottom of the boat. And I'm painting, We cut, I cut out two fish shapes. Fish, fish shapes. <laughs> I feel like I need to pluralize that in the fish, fishes, <laughs> fish. Anyway, I'm painting it with that same blue color. And now I'm taking that 
lighthouse and I'm painting a little stripe. I should have taped this off. I didn't. I'm just like freehanding it because I think, hey, I, I don't need to tape it off, but I really did need to tape it off. And I had added some plaster paint to that blue color to make a little bit lighter blue color. And now I'm painting another stripe around the lighthouse with that new color that I created. I'm painting the fish. I don't know why I felt like I needed to add the lighter color to the fish, but I add the lighter color to the fish and y'all, I go back and painted the dark blue again. <laughs> Then I'm just adding some stripes around the top and I go all the way around. Although you're really only going to see one side, I do paint front and back the same. To create the effect of a window, I just take some, a yellow paint pen and kind of make some shapes at the top there to kind of represent the window that's at the top. Although I really have never seen a lighthouse in person. And now I have two fish shapes and I'm leaving one with the white color and I'm just kind of sanding around the edges. Same thing with the starfish. I'm just kind of sanding around the edges so it doesn't look so new, I guess. <laughs> and I'm taking the end of a paintbrush and I'm dipping it into that plaster paint and I'm creating some little dots to kind of give it some dimension. And that sailboat is, uh, I was going to say the paintbrush, the sailboat's done. So now again, I'm taking some a sandpaper and just kind of roughing it up a little bit, doing the same thing with that fish. To create the eyes for the fish, I'm taking some black paint and the end of that paintbrush again. And then I take a dot of white paint to make the eye. Now this is the anchor and I'm just adding some jute twine. I'm leaving it white, but I'm adding some jute twine and then kind of wrapping it around. And I actually just tape it down instead of hot gluing it because I think I might use this for another DIY and kind of repurpose it. This is my office and I just wanted to show you the aftermath of this crafting video. I normally try to clean up as I go, but I was trying to get the video out because a couple things happened and wasn't able to really clean up as I went. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can clean it up. That's it y'all, 12 DIYs. I wanted to share each one individually. So in no particular order, I'm gonna show you the DIYs and then I'll show you how I styled them at the end. So this is the large wood ship wheel shape that I got from Dollar Tree. And like I said, I just added some jute twine to kind of jazz it up just a little bit. And this is that smaller wood ship wheel shape that was supposed to be part of that wind chime. And again, just jazzed it up a little bit with some jute twine. And this is that starfish that we cut out with wood using our jigsaw. I like, I like how this turned out. I think it looks super cute. And this is that nautical bead with the wood ship wheel shape on it. And all I did was stain the wood wheel shape, ship wood wheel shape. <laughs> um, I keep thinking I'm going to say something else anyways. Um, and I think it, it just kind of amped it up a little bit and that what that's, that's super easy to do and you can't get much simpler than this fish shape. So again, I painted one with the plaster paint and then one with that blue paint and added the black circle for the eyes and a little white dot so you can see the eyes. And I think it turned out super cute, easy to do. You could so easily make this out of cardboard and get the same look. Now this is that um, lighthouse. I don't know why I keep forgetting what it's called, the lighthouse. Now. I think I can kind of jazz up those windows a little bit more and maybe add a little bit more detail. I kind of look at my DIYs after I'm done and thought, oh, I, I could have added this or changed that. But right now I think it looks cute the way I have it styled. This boat is super simple to make. Again, you could make this out of cardboard, but um, I think I want to go back and kind of add a little bit to it, but I think it looks really cute the way it is the anchor. I love how the anchor turned out. And if you didn't notice the hole is not centered, but that's okay. It adds to the charming character, but I love how it turned out. 
my seize the day book stack is also super cute i love it i love the colors i love the little anchor on there i think it turned out great my little salty gnome he turned out so cute and i i just think he turned out so cute and i love that he's double-sided i'm not gonna lie this love sign is probably my favorite. I, I like how the little buoys turned out because it kind of gives it a different pop of color and I just think it turned out super cute. This is how everything is styled in the corner of my hutch area. I think it all turned out so cute and thank you again to our host Emily, Missy, and Amanda for including me in today's playlist. I really do appreciate it and if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram it's Our Gray House but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!